I'm Scarlett Howard. I'm predominantly a model. I'm from Essex and recently, in the past few years, I've moved to the world of radio presenting. I think it was really refreshing for me to move into presenting because unlike modelling, it allowed me to show my own personality. Whereas for the past 10 years of being a model, you are very much a static photo or a mannequin or you become whatever brand it is you're working for you become the representation of them. It's never really about you. So being in radio has helped me to come through myself, talk about what I like, what music I like and listen to. And that's been really nice because I'm not representing anyone but me now. So yeah, it's really refreshing. And I, as much as I love, you know, both modeling and presenting, it's nice to have those two different areas whereas I can be who I want to be and then sometimes play a character of a model, you know, when that time comes around. So it's just really nice. My knowledge and passion for music is really broad. Um, I like music from all genres, from the 70s, 80s, 90s. I'm kind of like a walk-in music quiz. So I'm probably the best person to have on your team if you were going to like a pub music quiz because I know all my facts about artists. I used to spend all my money going to live gigs when I was younger, from Rage Against the Machine to Celine Dion, it really is really broad, but I'm really passionate about music. So it's like the perfect job for me and it works alongside modeling and it allows me to be more of a personality because with modeling, I've been used to being like a mannequin for so many years and just a flat picture. And with radio, I can be myself. I can let my personality come out and it's two way. I can interact with people and that doesn't happen with modeling. So it's really nice to have that side of things. So when I moved from modeling into presenting, my social media became a little bit overtaken by photos of me in the studio, me talking about music, which my followers loved, but a lot of my followers have been quite loyal for the past, you know, 10 years. They still want to see those modeling shots of me and they still like to follow my modeling career, but I'm predominantly posting about my presenting work. So I figured, you know, they keep asking why you're not posting modeling shots anymore. So there's still a demand for that, so I figured if I put it on another platform, it's still accessible to them, they can see as much as they want, I'm still shooting and I've got everything over there. So it kind of works well in both senses, so yeah, I think it's really nice balance. And what can people expect from your only hands? So I still do a lot of modeling, I do a lot of lingerie modeling, I post behind the scenes videos, pictures from shoes. Um, I now have the power where I can kind of direct some of my own shoes to get content that I specifically know people want to see on OnlyFans. Um, I also really use the interaction tools that the website provides, so I ask people what content they prefer, what they'd like to see. Um, and also, it's interesting how many people join my OnlyFans for the modeling content but then want to chat to me in the, in the message side of things about radio. So it's just an area for me which is more fan specific so I take the time to respond to have that interaction whereas I don't want to feel like I have to do that on Instagram when it's more of a showcasing platform but for those that want the interaction and the personal touch it's definitely over there and I spend most of my time like I said talking about radio on there even though they're there for the modern content so it's really nice how it kind of all mixes together. really changed since I started modeling. Obviously we've lost a lot of print publications over the years and everything that's now online, you know, some people see that as a loss, but I see it really as a gain, especially in the fan industry, like OnlyFans, where people used to buy publications or a magazine to see a girl they like, they might only be featured on one or two pages of that magazine, whereas now they can buy an OnlyFans subscription and see so much content from that one particular girl so it's like it makes sense that it's more specific now and you know it's easier to update and be more in control of your own content especially you know there used to be x amount of magazines that ran but as a model i would never have the control over what i shot on those days you know the fans would have to pay for the magazine just to see two two pictures of their favorite model and now this has opened up you know, a whole different world, which gives freedom to all, and I think it's, it's brilliant. 
I'd really like to progress um, in the next year in my radio career. I would like to become part of a station that is more representative of me and my personal music tastes um, and really get that interaction going with my listeners, being able to talk about my knowledge and just focus more in on myself and where I want to go because I think in the modern industry and what I learned in the radio industry is that you sometimes have to do the jobs that aren't particularly suited to you to get to where you want to be and I feel like I've really put in the hard work in my career and that's in every area over the past few years and I'm ready to take that step now. So obviously as you say you do so many different things like modelling, acting and presenting. How do you balance everything and how do these different sides of yourself like work with each other? I think that it kind of all works together because regardless of the different job roles my fans that followed me for years they can see the personality that comes through with modeling anyway and a lot of them say that's why they follow me as well because there's you know the sense of realness behind what I do I try not to be just a static model I try to show my interest my personality um, and I think that does actually come through and I try to and I make a point of making the time on my own fans and making the effort to allow that to come through rather than and feeling like they're just watching from a distance. It's more, it is more personal because I explain what I'm doing, what I'm up to, and then try and get them involved as much as possible. So it's really nice.